Presidents and chairmen are supposed to speak. No? Yeah, yeah. Just a sec. Just uh, so I mean, if you are ready, I think we can. I, I, I'm ready, and uh, but just as an indication, you can always show them the first screen. Yeah. So they get, uh, they get they get impacted by it. Yeah. Now, this is for ten. Yeah. I think you can stop the recording. Yeah, I'm doing that. Yes, Rian. Yeah. So, I request everyone to just keep themselves on mute. Uh, just give me a second. Yeah. So, so uh, welcome to this uh, yet another wonderful session of our uh, study circle. Uh, I think it's, it's been great to catch up with you guys every second week. And uh, of course, there's been a gap of one week in this session, but uh, we were back to another session. And this time in the world of where the world has been using medicines as a cure, uh, today we are prescribing zero medicine. So with that, I think uh, I'd, I'd not waste much time and I'd hand over the stage to Govindji. So Govindji, over to you. दोस्तों मुंबई समिति लेखापाल संस्थान की मानव संसाधन विकास समिति द्वारा आयोजित अध्ययन मंडल के मासिक कार्यक्रम में आप सभी का हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूं अभिनंदन करता हूं दोस्तों दोस्तों आज पिछले छह महीने से जिस वातावरण से हम सभी गुजर रहे हैं और हर जगह कुछ ना कुछ बीमारी कुछ ना कुछ मेडिसिन की बात हो रही है ये मीटिंग का टाइटल सुनकर कुछ आश्चर्य लगता है जीरो मेडिसिन बिजडम जीरो मेडिसिन बिजडम जब हम बात करते हैं कि हमको कोई मेडिसिन की जरूरत ही नहीं है कोई बीमारी है कोई भी बीमारी है उसके लिए हमें किसी भी मेडिसिन की जरूरत नहीं है प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा के द्वारा हमारे हम सभी बीमारियों पर विजय प्राप्त कर सकते हैं प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा से बीमारियों पर विजय प्राप्त करनी है और प्राकृतिक वातावरण से हमको ऐसी परिस्थिति पैदा करनी है जिससे बीमारियां हो ही नहीं अगर बीमारियां होती हैं तो भी बिना मेडिसिन के उन बीमारियों का कैसे इलाज किया जा सकता है और बीमारियों को कैसे अपने से परे रख सकते हैं इस बात को इस बात का बताने के लिए हमारे साथ में सैफी सरैया जी हैं जिन्होंने अपनी पुस्तक जीरो मेडिसिन बिजम में इस बात का 
विस्तार से उल्लेख किया है और आज ये एक घंटे के सेशन में हम उसका कुछ अंश जानने की कोशिश करेंगे आ, ये हमारा अहोभाग्य है कि सैफी सरिया जी हमारे साथ हैं और मैं विशेषकर उनके इस इस वार्तालाप को पूरी तरह से सुनना चाहूँगा क्योंकि मैं अभी 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 नई नया नया मेडिसिन का पेशेंट हुआ हूँ मैं भी जानना चाहूँगा कि किस तरह से बिना मेडिसिन के हम अपना इलाज कर सकते हैं दोस्तों आज का सेशन बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन होने वाला है मैं रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ सैफी सरैया जी से कि अपना सेशन स्टार्ट करें और उसके पहले रेयान उनके सूक्ष्म परिचय देखे हमारे सभी आ, जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैं उनको उनके उनका परिचय देखे अवगत कराएं रेयान प्लीज गोविंद जी थैंक यू सो मच ओके सो विद दिस आई थिंक ऑफ कोर्स द मैन नीड्स नो इंट्रोडक्शन टुडे वेरी वेरी वेल नोन एंड पॉपुलर फिगर इन इन टुडेज वर्ल्ड सो जस्ट जस्ट अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू टेक हिम ऑन बोर्ड सो सैफी सरया इज एन इंटरनेशनली एक्लेम लाइफ कोच एंड द ऑथर ऑफ जीरो मेडिसिन विजडम हिज बुक जीरो मेडिसिन विजडम इज बेस्ड ऑन द इनसाइट ही गेन फ्रॉम द डिस्कवरी बाय अ वर्ल्ड रिनाउंड डॉक्टर the book unfolds a three dimensional understanding on the concept of disease symptoms cause and the factor behind the cause in his workshop participant learn that in life uh, that life in us is beyond the psychological makeup whatever state we may be in now it can change disease can reverse wounds can heal life energy can get restored and our dormant potential can be unleashed safi's three decades experience in facilitating leadership and mentoring programs in india and abroad has led him to understand varied life situations this helps him to put together a response mechanism that guides individuals through any violations of mind and maintain their well-being so with this we welcome our great personality for today sapi ji over to you please thank you ryan thank you govind ji uh aap logo ka itna apeksha ke sath uh, इन्विटेशन इसमें सबसे पहले तो आई वी मस्ट थैंक अमित आहूजा द वन हु मेड एफर्ट टू समाउ गेट मी इन दिस सेशन एंड कॉन्स्टेंट कॉल्स फ्रॉम ग्रेसी एंड द फैक्ट दैट अमित आहूजा केम टू नो अबाउट दिस फ्रॉम एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल ये मेरे मेरा इंडिया फाउंडेड बाई वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लेडी कॉल स्मिता अग्रवाल so we a few weeks ago we had a session with them she has some thousands of uh, members and she wants to promote this all over india and she came to know about zero medicine wisdom from my very old friend sanjay mansukhani so my gratitude to him also and uh, it is so nice that he is also there in the panel today so as, as a person to empower me all right so as you uh rightly said that i came to know about this 15 years ago 15 years ago even i too was taking multiple of medicine my family had a box of four drawers each one had multiple <laughs> tablets but to our amazement one fine day i encountered a neighbor who i used to see him uh, in the the board outside you know he, healing first it used to be acupuncture then one one fine day i saw it was healing through quran healing through faith so i was just passed by and you know kind of uh, be little cynical about this uh, anything which is non uh, which, which is uh, you know different from the mainstream but for some reason i had to meet him to prepare for a lecture to get insight of his philosophy and it turned out that he himself is an mbbs md and a phd this is 2006 and not only he has mastered all this he has also mastered all the alternate practices like homeopathy naturopathy uh, acupuncture and so on so he became kind of a uh, they would they call him as father of modern acupuncture 
and he has thousands of people doing this but now he has gone beyond that so thanks to my neighborhood that he's just in my neighbor and i have had continuous daily three months of meeting with him early morning 5:30 to 12 noon thereafter we had two years of meeting and i i am fortunate that he without any expectation spill the beans of all that is in he considers disease itself as a myth so i know it's a very radical subject but uh, the fact is in a way if you were to expose yourself to there are multiple doctors all over the world who are now agreeing to this rather promoting this so what it is based on what principle that is our agenda today so friends uh, you must know that this is based on a, a very simple principles divine principles i would say a very simple understanding of divinity in us that is guiding our mind so to start this session let me invoke the blessing of the divine because it is his prince, divine principle that we are going to share today so can we for just 15 seconds be silent and begin this session with inhaling the life giver's breath in us that is governing our body so just feel the breath giver's energy that is functioning your body for 15 seconds just feel the inhalation you will feel while inhaling cool air entering your nostrils and when exhaling you will feel warm air coming out just do this for 15 seconds and ryan you we can begin again and you can remove the uh, uh, screen also so let's let's close our eyes for 15 seconds and feel the divine breath in us governing us all right i think we we can open our eyes and begin yes uh, shamlata happy to see you here yeah you can unmute for some time how are you saifi yeah great lovely so uh, friends uh, i know from what i heard a while ago from govin and from rajesh muni and i am sure there are many many more who have not yet spoken that many of them are in a dilemma because at this moment they are caught up with getting caught into medical systems they are taking medicine so now let's why we are taking medicine because we have been uh, we are living in the world and that is what world has told us all right so my question to you is the that do you want to cure your disease or control your disease we all will answer that we want total cure isn't it then yes. second question is do you believe in temporary relief in tot or in totally total recovery we all will say total recovery <laughs> and the third question is this is the most crucial section session it's mind blowing question will you believe in your own experience will you believe in your own feeling and experience or will you believe what is coming in books and news media now this is the catch uh ryan what are people saying will they believe in their own experience in the chat box uh so i i i'll request all the audience to probably put in their views i think it will be good for everyone to interact on this session so yes. if if anyone has some views they can just put it on the chat box and we can probably read it out to safi as well so 
So I see yeah. some things that have come. I in. think uh, Rajesh Muni, if he's telling, that is universal. <laughs> Believe in own experience. That's lovely. Okay. So friends, yeah. If you are choosing to believe in your own experience and if you are choosing to seek total recovery and not just relief and cure and not just control, then my dear friends, you already know that these things are not available in medical science. Is, aren't you knowing the, the seven months have passed or maybe eight months, God knows. We are all getting quarantined but medical science is handcuffed, lost from, from a small place to India, to the world over. They have got exposed that they have no cure. And if they claim of vaccination, then again, there have been thousands of mutation of this virus. So those who are scientists will say, how is it possible to create a virus? So we are all, all in a uh, kind of a blackmail situation by believing in the world. Today, today is a very landmark session. I am really delighted when I came to know that uh, this BCAS is a legendary organization. All of you are a very influential people. If your heart can understand the truth and if God's grace is upon you, then God knows how many people you will be able to influence. You will have your way. I have my way because I am one of the beneficiary. So 15 years ago, when my doctor, the one who advised the discovered zero medicine, when he asked me this three question, I agreed. And that's how my journey began. Each one of us got healed from various issues. Right from that day onwards, me, my wife and two daughters, and later, so many of my friends, I would, I don't, I've lost count. All got healed. It's so amazing. If I take, assuming if I've taken 90 people, if uh, two fail, I can think that 97s were by fluke. But all of them uniformly get healed. Then what is the truth? Absolutely, the divine principle is the truth. Isn't it? So we are lucky that we are in, and we are, we are a large group. There are 12,000 followers, but the medical world and the news media will, even if I give my books to all of them, they are not going to highlight because it's a matter of economy. Uh, everybody wants money, so it's a profession and lakhs of rupees are being spent to take up this course. And in the course, you are, the, the medical students is made to see through the organism with a microscope, but is not being taught to see the whole. My friend Sanjay Manskwani, I'm happy that he is here. He is teaching uh, something from 1912, a, something called master key systems, which totally explains the concept of mind creating everything. We all hear of thought becoming things, isn't it? We all talk about quantum physics. But still we get glued to thinking, uh, things. We, we get attached to things, not knowing. Now, what you believe is what you create in your body. Just like what you believe, you invite in your life. So, uh, there is one more question I can ask you. That what do you think now since I have revealed that is body controlling the mind or mind controlling the body? Ryan or Sanjay? It is the mind which controls the body 110%. There you are. And yeah, yeah uniformly, I, I might see in the chat everybody <clears throat> saying that. Yeah, now, I think everyone's come up with the thing saying mind control. There you are. Lovely. Now, boss, our, our session is over, actually speaking. Now you have got enlightened. This truth has come from your heart. Was when mind controls the body, well, who am I giving medicine to? You are giving medicine the to the body, but the medicine should be given to the mind. So this is the secret by which we are getting healed. And now, uh, 
I used to receive many calls one after the other and people were getting ill. Uh, now I've decided during this pandemic time, let me give away the secret of Dr. Fazal. What he does that people get healed. He doesn't mind. Appointment fee with him is 10,000. But if I'm giving it free, he doesn't care. <laughs> now, the catch is, uh, let us now revisit the reason why we go to doctor. So, Ryan, you can go back to the... Yeah, I think just before we go to the presentation, I think there is one interesting question which Gracie has put up. Uh, is mind different from the brain? Uh, do you want to take this now or maybe post the session? My mind is certainly different from the brain. Brain we can see. Brain is a combination of various nerves. And uh, that is brain is uh, a, a kind of a system. But that which functions the brain is the mind. All right. Uh, so if you can I come in here? Oh, yes, certainly. Okay. You see the conscious mind. The conscious mind, which is connected to the world outside and is working through our five sense organs, is connected to the brain. All the inputs from the five sense organs go inside the brain. So in a way, yes, conscious mind is connected to the brain. That is number one. Number two, we also have a subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is a massive storehouse. Massive storehouse of information, data. It has two kinds of data. One, data which we get from birth, before birth, in fact, how the body should run, which we have no control over. We have no control over how our eyes see, how our nose uh, smells, how our ears hear, and we have no idea also about it. So that is stored in the subconscious mind. And the third is the data which we are picking up from the world outside. So whatever my five sense organs are bringing inside, through my eyes, through my ears, through my nose, through my tongue, through my skin, is getting stored. And there is a massive storehouse. We have 100 billion neurons. And these each neuron has number of dendrites, about around 1,500 dendrites. And if you do a combination of them, then they equal the number of atoms in the universe. That is the combination possible in the human brain. That is our storage capacity. So we are hugely gifted, infinitely gifted in our uh, brain power, in our mind power. But the question is, the body is finite. And we are not allowing the body to be run by the mind. We are allowing the body to be run by chemicals which are injected from outside. And that is where the whole problem lies. Yeah. Thank you, Sanjay. So now let's go on to the slides. Uh, yeah. Why do we go to our... Uh, see, we are living this life. When everything is normal, we don't bother. Only when something becomes... Ab you can proceed from there. Next slide. This as... Yeah. Any... Uh, is the screen getting covered with my bar? No, no. Only in my computer. Is it fine? No. Is it, is it, nothing is getting covered, no? No, no, nothing. All right, lovely. Okay, friends. Now the catch is we are living comfortably. Ryan is running, Amit is, uh, Auja is running, Shamlata also does running, cycling. As long as there is no pain in the body, you are delighted. You continue to carry out your work. But the day any of the things, any of these abnormal experience happens, we get panic. Is it not? Who are the, what are these abnormal? Every human uh, with a body is bound to feel one of these elements on and off in their life. It could be fever, it could be cold, cough, vomit, diarrhea, allergy and dizziness. And this makes us panic. Now, why we panic? That is the main question we are going to unfold today. And I expect you all to be the new next uh, professors. Yeah, next. We have been, we panic because we have been taught that these are symptoms of disease. So we think that some disease has happened to us in the body. So we rush to a doctor who we believe 
is in the know-how of things and can help. And you would have noticed what a modern doctor does. He immediately checks your, your body parameters and makes it, you know, make you feel nice that he's answering to your impatience. You have been taken care of because you are very eager for quick relief. So he shows much urgency to resolve the problem of his patient. And he will say, okay, you are having this, that, 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 and some name we are giving. It could be chikungunya, it could be viral fever, it could be, uh, uh, today it's very funny. Anything you go, it, the first thing they check is COVID. <laughs> so it, it must be immediately attended to, says the doctor, to our satisfaction. He orders various tests, administers and prescribes. Now what medicine he prescribes, if you notice, he gives you painkiller. That means he is only giving you relief. The pain is supposed to guide you, but he is giving you relief. He is giving you anti-inflammatory. He is giving you anti-pyretic, anti-fever, anti-diarrhea, anti-woman, a woman we call it. So uh, they, then finally they are not able to, you know, find a solution to your problem. Then one of your organ fails because of the suppressive medicine which you take. And that is where, unfortunately, most of us in the fag end of our life fall prey to need for surgery. Friends, this my request is don't treat this as an expert talk from Safi Saraya. This is not an expert talk. I'm certainly not an expert. I'm only a person who has experienced this truth since 15 years. And I'm fortunate that so many of my friends have become also the proof of the same experience. So this is a promise which we have experienced. I won't say this is a talk. This is a promise. So don't let this event just pass off as if we attended one session of organized by BCAS. Tell your organizers that we want to go into the bottom of things. We'll not leave this subject because this is a very radical subject. If I have successfully not taken medicine with hundreds of my friends, why it is not possible for you? I've gone through harrowing times. It's not that I've not gone through. So now we'll go into actual understanding of what each symptoms are doing to us. Shall we go to the next slide? Yeah, uh, so I think, Sefi, just before we go to the next slide, uh, one of the participants has raised their hand. So I'll just do one thing. I'll just promote them to the panelist. Uh, I think maybe she wants to just say something. Okay. Yeah, Tripti, you can go ahead. I think I've unmuted. Yeah, Tripti can unmute her. Sorry. Yeah, can you just unmute yourself? And come on video. All right, we can go ahead till such time she gets into... Yeah, sure. Because initial slide will uh, answer many things. So the question answer can follow after the first. This is the friends. There are three dimensions to this wisdom. Uh, the three dimensions are first is the symptoms. First dimension. The second dimension is the cause. And the third dimension is highly profound. It is the factor behind the cause. So. It, it straight away takes you to a very divine understanding of your own, own self, which so far we did not even, we got into a ritualistic belief in our so-called various religion, but we never involved in our actual learning of our self and soul. So uh, now the question is, these abnormal experience, which I am saying, pain, fever, allergy, cold, and cough. My question is, are they actually symptoms of disease? Uh, see, when you get tired, you will feel like immediately sleeping. Can anybody say that this is disease? If you are going to be hungry, you will want to grab some food. 
is that disease so friends the symptoms are also serving a very very simple purpose for our body but unfortunately right from our conditioning in our education the corporate people have made condition us to believe in fear that if you have pain that means you need to go to an expert can the pain guide you if the, you have fever that means you have to do something else so uh, so were we to ponder for a moment upon why such abnormalities occur our common sense would guide us not to panic but to treat the situation with patience we would then realize that the realize the truth that sim symptoms which we are we were told are symptoms of disease are actually a sign of healing process i repeat the symptoms which are pain fever cold cough are sign of the body's healing process now if you if i get fever what i will do i just need to know that i need to maintain patience during these abnormal experience and let the body go through the process of smooth and eventual healing so let us see each symptoms and their role in our life friends before the doctor identifies your liver problem or your organ problem or your heart problem you are forewarned with these symptoms any slight pain in the body is an invitation hey guy you better be careful what's wrong in your body so you can't say i'll take a painkiller and continue with it you are in in for an organ failure most people who take painkillers end up with kidney failure now pain is guiding the body means suppose you i do cycling sometimes sometimes i do 100 km cycling i have a, i don't recommend that but i have a fancy for it so when i return from there i can easily see some back ache and joint ache what i do i put my mind into understanding my body i lie down in a particular position in such a way that i respond to my pain i i put my leg above the wall i put my head on the other side and and my legs on the wall side so my uh, my senses of the pain can further improve my toes touch the wall press the wall and i can see the sensation of my body more thoroughly so why we do most of the people here who are athletes they do you know stretches why they do by stretching they are relaxing the body so if you can be mindful if with the slightest of pain then the worst pain cannot happen but in our rush of work we think i can ignore the pain and we continue then we collapse and finally we cannot tolerate and it becomes a very unbearable pain actually it shouldn't happen god does not want the divine does not want you to face any unbearable pain divine is always eager to guide you in in phases it will always nudge you if you can follow the nudging by the divine you will not get caught into a very dangerous situation which you cannot tolerate so now we come to fever friends you will be surprised fever is the greatest favor to the body fever is actually fighting the disease force this is well known to the medical science you can log on to google check what is the role of fever fever is a antibody your own antibody which is rushing to rescue you to fight the antigen you can be freely moving around anywhere the life force is promised to protect your body it will not tolerate anything which is not good for the body so if you, if you are if you are caught up with certain antigen you know the our disease our our uh, our defense force takes over it's like uh, the kargil war when we saw that the enemy country uh, you know clandestinely entered what our body did we came out to defend 
and when when we get into border defense that time we declare curfew friends so you must know that during war all the civil activities get stopped so let me give you a more highlight on fever in during fever you will not feel hungry number 1 so do not eat anything during the fever because fever is a wonderful energy of your body it see what is happening in fever your temperature rises and what is temperature heat energy isn't it and now if energy increase in, in the body is it good or is it bad when uh, shamlata is running for a marathon and i see him you know racing in the end uh, and i see you know full energy what i'll say come on shamlata come on you can do it but actually his energy will be very high that time i will not be uh, disturbing him so during fever just do not disturb the fever it's a favor to the body and this fever removes the toxic energy in your body your cancer gets rid and nothing can ever happen if you adhere to the wisdom of fever so uh, this is what we have been doing since last 15 years uh, i i can give countless of personal example but let me first finish the basic session because question answer will come so cold protects the lungs if you get cough and your phlegm gets developed it is wonderful it is protecting the lungs by removing anything toxic which goes inside the lungs so cough is a sign of your defense mechanism in the action that that very acceptance in the mind gives you peace then you have allergy that's a sign of a radiation of a bad energy you just have to again go to the mind and realize what could have been the cause what is causing the allergy it is acclimatization at times you go to a different place that environment is not suiting you so you can get allergy but acclimatization will happen sometimes water doesn't suit you but in two days the acclimatize will happen so allergy is not a permanent problem it is an anything but a journey towards acclimatization you some people get allergy with water they are taking bath and they have skin uh, you know itching so then they'll have to find out uh, how they can take bath in a better way so that if the like in one case i saw that person was started taking bath with warm water the allergy didn't happen so body needs something to safeguard itself you have to be mindful to serve the body when i say mindful don't we serve food when the body is hungry so why can't we be little more extra mindful and sensitive to serve the body when it complains of abnormal experience so friends vomiting is also wonderful when when uh, anything you take which is not good for the body immediately it will vomit out there was there have been several cases where people have vomited blood continuously for two days now because many doctors know that was body way of throwing out toxic blood a lady took one particular skin tablet which was meant to take only for a week but she thought that this is something to be continued it, and that became toxic and nobody knew she was an old lady one fine day she vomited blood and all the relatives thought she will die but luckily the railway hospital doctors were not greedy they discharged her in 36 hours saying all the toxic blood has come out she is safe and you know what happened all her joint pain everything vanish because she came out with all the toxicity removed so this is how wonderful recovery we see by adhering to not taking medicine and letting the body experience its purpose so diarrhea very simple uh, if if you eat something and your body is not able to digest it wants to throw out so friends one clue is uh, when when somebody said diabetes the kidney flushes out unwanted sugar in 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 urine similarly whatever is unwanted by the body the, it gets flushed out as toxic waste so allow that process to happen it may take 24 hours 
Now the world WHO tells that during diarrhea you must take uh, you know this much water and and you know salt sugar solution. No, my dear friends, trust your body. If it wants water, you take it. Otherwise, let the flushing out happen totally. Because in diarrhea, if you start taking water, then you will expand your toxicity. It's like this: that if something falls on the ground, a, a, a dog shit. So will you put water in it, or you will wipe it with uh, a, a newspaper? Ryan or or Sanjay, we'll wipe it with newspaper, isn't it? Yeah. Depends on the depends on what philosophy you believe in. Yeah, WHO no, or, 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 or common sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now common sense is if you put water, it will further smell and spread. So similarly, if there is toxicity in the body, allow it to be ejected totally. Then you will feel very pure and nice. Uh, and then the first meal you will ask for and you will drink lovely. Uh, you will feel very, very energetic. A, a totally purified person after fever, after vomiting, after diarrhea. And the last thing, friends, some people sometimes on and off, uh, you know, we overwork and we get dizziness. All right. Now, dizziness is nothing but a blood trying to reach and support your excess uh, uh, work which you have taken up and 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 till that happens you might feel slight dizziness all you need to is sit down nothing you don't get frightened but some people are so obsessed with their uh, focus on their work that they forget their body need and they stretch out and that is where the fainting happens fainting is also nothing but a shock of sleep body says uh, Boss, you are not letting me take rest, so I'll uh, I better faint you. So, friends, there are people who have collapsed with coma. So, I have few doctors, not just Doctor Fazal, but there are doctors in more doctors in our group who, what they do, they just keep the coma patient in observance. After four days, they wake up and they ask what happened because they get hungry. So, if we get frightened. We will be feeding them all kinds of medicine, and uh, that is where the, that fellow doesn't wake up, and the coma gets extended, and sometimes we get, God, God forbid, we get a dead body out. So, friends, uh, let's. Uh, you got this message. Uh, how many of you feel uh, that there is truth in this message? No, I feel it. I think a couple of people had uh, raised their hands. Uh, yeah, I can see a lot of yes in the chat. Yeah, correct. Yeah, most uh, uh, we are getting uniform agreement. Lovely. So this group is now becoming a movement. We are all agreeing to the truth. <laughs> now God guide us to uh, live up to this truth. So uh, as I told you, there are three dimensions to this. Uh, we are only going to cover two dimensions. The third dimension is a major power, which, uh, which, which can be explained in the, in, in, when we take up this as a professional program. So let's go to the next slide, Ryan. Yeah, we feel something should not go wrong. Yeah. So what do we do when any of these things that happen to us and if you are a person with willpower, what you will do? You'll say, boss, I've got nothing wrong. I will just relax. I will stop and observe my body and watch. How long will the fever continue? It is not letting me eat food, no problem. One, two, three, four, five. Friends, my daughter did not take food for 12 days. And after that, her wheezing problem forever went off. Even 12 days of not eating food because of fever did not affect because our life energy does not survive only on food. Our life energy survives on five elements 
from the nature also. So you don't think that if that somebody has not taken food, means he'll become weak. Only if he takes food, he'll become weak. Because when you take food, when you're having fever, you are disturbing the curfew. The energy that was out in the border to fight the opposition force, you are calling them back for your civil work. So it's, it's, we don't want civil disobedience in when, when our fever is there. So during fever, or, or for that matter, any of the system, one rule, stop, take rest, work in progress, like what, what you see in the road, a signboard. And then watch what is happening. It is a matter of time, your body will experience healing. But that demands patience and trust in the divine. We must know that we came from nothing. And that nothing has been, we are being fed by our breath and we are growing up. So how can we now believe in things to protect us? Whereas it is the life force that is governing the mind and mind is list adhering to the life force. All right. So now we go to the next slide that friends, it is easy to say, but many of them will be still afraid because uh, uh, we may say that, okay, I've re realized that symptoms are nothing but an inbuilt healing mechanism in the body. I, I should not rush to doctor and take medicines because I know that medicine may not find me a cure. And from the insight, most of you would have gained so far, the truth in your heart says no to medicine, isn't it? Ryan, Sham, what do you say? So zero medicine is an understanding we reach. Next one. Zero medicine is wisdom is nothing but an understanding we reach because of what we are reminded of. It is the truth is already within you. That is why I said I am not an expert. I am the person who has experienced this truth. It is like me who have learned cycling. I can uh, tell you it is easy to cycle. So uh, having experience truth within self, you get the same opportunity. We realize that the mind brings the mind brings the cure and controls the body and connects the healing force. Mind is everything, friends. Mind is connecting the healing force with the body. So all we need to do is mindful. So friends, uh, I may say all we need to do is being mindful, but our mind is not mindful. Our mind gets violated, isn't it? So that is where the Gerber lies. Go to the next slide, friends. Ryan. Yeah, I think somebody has a request. Uh, can you speak about conditions like blood pressure, diabetes? One is told that you should have medicines for life. Yeah, uh, but shall I, shall I first cover this? Then uh, yeah, we will have sure. enough time to answer. Yeah. Okay, so now what to do to lead a blissful life without medicine? We have understood, I must know that mind controls the body. Body discomfort is due to what is happening in the mind. Therefore, the medicine that cures the body is that which heals the mind. Mind is violated by the loss of ease. Thus, the word this is. Disease gets heal, healed when I free myself from that which is violating my mind. So, friends, the whole game here is you are a life force experiencing this life and your mind is, mind, my mind is guiding me. Okay? So, now, if my mind can guide me with that something is uh, violating me, I must identify that and find an answer to that. This is a very wonderful learning which you will come across. It will tell how our loss of ease is harming our organs. So let's go to the next slide. So friends, uh, already... Sanjay, in the initial stage, gave this point. We violate our mind when we respond to situation in a manner that produces negative emotions in us. For, for example, when our body, uh, when, when we respond to situation that and uh, it, it becomes anger, worry, fear, sorrow, or stress, this is violation of mind. 
each emotion affects a particular organ in our body. So uh, some people who have asked this question of BP and all that, they may get enlightened as I explain the rest. Go next. See, friends, uh, actually, we were not supposed to cut our body, friends. Medical science started cutting our body and started investigating what they can do with, with the body. We could only see our mouth and taste, isn't it? We can only see five senses. Uh, can, were we ever supposed to see our internal organs? So it is a perversion in the, in the form of science that we started cutting uh, you know, frogs and turtle and human body and animal to find ways to disturb the divine creation as if we will find answer for their cure. It's a, it's a tamasha and the whole world is running a big empire in that. I have nothing to say. Let me tell you that the only thing we understand is we have taste and we feel hungry. Is it not? We have a taste and we feel hungry, we feel get appetite. So the stomach gets pangs of hunger. You can press that, Ryan. Yeah. The stomach gets pangs of hunger and the mouth gets appetite. We get taste, so stomach welcomes it. If you do, don't get taste, stomach doesn't want it. Nobody likes tasteless food, if you notice. Appetite and taste goes together. So suppose if your the stomach gets disturbed, if you are taking food without need, without taste. So my first request to all of you is never take food unless you are hungry. Stomach is very clever. First, it makes sure that what you bring in, he, he sends like security, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the reception area that whatever goods comes, check it. So when you put something in the mouth, Take name of God where well, you begin. Put it in your tongue. Check with your saliva that whether you like the taste. Then proceed. If you like the taste, you don't go by uh, uh, somebody saying that this is good and you start taking God knows what all things in the capsule form. Everything should be organic. So in the mouth, there are billions of bacteria ready to de-atomize like Sanjay already told. It will de-atomize and create energy right in the mouth itself. So your stomach will not be disturbed. But if you are not following this, then the stomach forms state. It does not digest. It becomes acidic. It develops ulcer. And the sign of it happens in our inside of lips. We get ulcers. We get uh, uh, ulcers in the tongue. And so friends, that is a sign that we have upset everything. Now go to the next slide. Next. Now this is our year. year. See, year and is directly connected with hearing. Loud sound, no human likes. The last thing that we want is a loud noise. In order to be healthy, do not be part of any loud music or bursting of crackers. That should be total taboo. A, a policeman, when he shouts at you in a very loud voice, the, the person may urine in the pant. So, uh, but a silent communication, nothing, no harm happens. So ear is directly connected with, can you guess which organ? There you are. The shape also proves, the nature is giving you example. So we have two ears and we have two kidneys. So kidneys is filtering organ. Whatever you take, whatever is not suitable, it throws out, it purifies. So one enlightenment which I can share with you is that if somebody says that you have excess sugar and if you don't take sugar tablet, you will find in your urine a lot of sugar, which means kidney is throwing out the sugar. Now if kidney is throwing out sugar and kidney's job is to uh, remove toxic waste, then it is serving its purpose that sugar is not required by the body. So those who are asking a question on diabetes, they have they might have got answer here. All right. So we go next. Eyes. 
uh, as I uh, as you all know that doctors have this habit. Our family doctor, especially those days, when you go, they will check your eyes. Do you remember? But nowadays they just put a, a plethora of tests. They don't even check you physically. So they check your eyes. If it is yellow, they say jaundice. If it is red, they may say something else. So all liver related, the organ that is connected with eyes is the shape of a liver which matches with the eyes. You can, uh, yeah. So liver is directly connected with the eyes. Liver damage, the sign of it is shown in the eyes. We go next. Nose. Nose and smell and breath is directly connected with lungs. All right. So uh, as I said, that when, when lungs is affected, your, your first thing that will happen is a protection group will form in the nose called phlegm. The phlegm will guard your breath from entering in such a way that it does not damage the lungs. So allow the phlegm to finish its course. It may take two days, it may take three days. In uh, Some people used to say, your cold and cough becomes okay in one week's time if you take medicine. And if you don't take medicine also, it gets okay in seven days. This is a well-known joke which family doctors tell. So, But my friends, when we go into the advanced level, to just the way we started today's meeting, we divinely felt our breath. You will no longer get lungs problem if you start feeling your breath morning, evening, now and then. So just like I told you, don't take food unless you're hungry. Taste the food and then take. Don't let loud noise of any kind be in our surrounding. That's highly uncultured and uh, no liquor ever in our life, friends, sorry to say, no liquor because liver is the direct damage. All medicines damage liver. So medicine, liquor, tobacco, all go together. They are inorganic. They clog the liver and that is how we suffer from liver cirrhosis. And final end is cancer. So uh, the sign of it is shown in the eyes. Okay. Then we come to Nose and smell, as I told you, that uh, it is to protect your lungs. And finally, when little by little in our current way we live our life, we are somewhat, sometimes we have some worry, a little fear, a little uh, uh, anger, and a little sorrow. Uh, so all this results into uh, the skin problem. So skin is the feel where you start feeling uncomfortable because of blood circulation. You feel itchy. Sometimes uh, for your protection, uh, pus gets formed to throw out the toxic. So friends, let me share with you. Yeah, you can uh, show the heart. Yeah, heart is the circulatory org organ that is connecting with the whole surface of all organs and skin. All right. So now, let us connect each of these things with an emotion. Uh, guess which emotion is connected with stomach? Can I allow audience to participate? Ryan, in the chat box. Oh, you have already answered it. <laughs> now you can continue, no problem. You can bring that back. That will save time. Bring that screen back. Yeah, okay. Originally, I was thinking one by one I'll show. But uh, uh, since that screen has come, let me straight away sh share. So we save time on. Yeah, it is worry. Any, any worry, our stomach gets into trouble. Then, as I said, kidney is directly connected with fear. Any, anything which gives you fear affects the kidney. I is directly connected with anger. That emotion affects the liver. And nose and smell, lungs, is directly connected with sorrow. So if you are going to feel sorrowful, you have seen, you know, many, many times we cry. 
then when we cry our uh, our facial thing will be sometimes even in serials people cry and uh, they they do like this immediately some phlegm will come and somebody will give them a kerchief and we'll wipe that out so that comes to protect your so, uh, to protect your lungs from getting damaged by the sorrow sorrow is uh, uh, making you lose your breath sorrow is a way of saying i don't want to live so it is the fourth uh, message to the life force i don't want to live so it starts lung says uh, starts you know the flow of breath stops so friends the, most of the death that we have happened in this world today is because of emotions and not because of i don't have to say more so friends uh, the little by little if all this four is there we suffer from heart problem because heart job is to circulate blood to all the organs internal organs and if everybody is slightly slightly demanding some extra supply then the heart pumps more and more and more and it gets tired so we get stress and then we we have sometimes heart expansion and sometimes even constriction of artery and it can be heart attack and uh, it, it can even lead to cardiac attack or paralytic force uh, paralytic stroke so what is the solution friends here we go next this was uh, the heart is nothing but stress yeah you can press one more fine yeah so we oh, the summary is that taste and mouth affect stomach and spleen the emotion is worry the sound and ear is affecting kidney and urinary bladder as the urinary bladder when it gets affect no we get joint pain that is because of fear have you noticed uh, our joints will start feeling shaking then smell and nose lungs and large it is because of grief and sorrow sight and eyes liver and gall bladder anger and touch and skin heart and small in stress so what is the answer for us seek peace above all i i don't want anything i just want peace if 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 your mind can ask for peace and work towards peace any issue resolving dispute collaborating negotiating but the ultimate conclusion is peace for me and for all so if we maintain peace at any cost you can never get ill friends you can never get ill you you can still have your symptoms but my request is i wouldn't want any all the people who are listening here my prayer is nobody should die of organ failure you can die naturally you can allow the life force to uh, restore your life energy and die with grace and I, the right word is rest in peace you can't be losing peace damaging your organ and then and then die and then people say rest in peace you are not resting in peace you have already damaged Mo friends i will give you one clue most of the people who are materialistically ordained who are after power position and possession they are very insecure they are in a competitive feeling so all the emotions affect them so if you were to see the celebrities and the politician eventually unfortunately we can't reach this message to them they mostly die out of organ failure i don't want to mention there is a line of politician who have died because of organ failure and all the professionals who have been very money minded they have also died of organ failure little do they know that they need not have been greedy see greed will always bring you worry if if we if we have a different attitude nothing can happen so uh, we go next and then we'll take up question answer so friends uh, this is the story of my life uh, i may be practicing to a great extent sometimes i may fall prey to emotions i may still fall into disease but when i fall into disease and loss of ease i experience the symptoms and take rest and turn to divine seeking forgiveness 
and I start breathing. Sometimes you, you say no, that duk me sumaran karna chalu ho jata hai. I I took God for granted. Now when I experience all this pain and all that, now I am started doing sumaran. So thank God, at least we have one way that whenever we experience any symptoms like pain, fever, and all that, that is actually a warning to us. Amen. Come back to me. Take rest. So the fever becomes okay. Your uh, cancer becomes okay. You can't take suppressive tablets, which is curing you. The fever came to detoxify your body and you took suppression. It is like telling that uh, you are calling for help and then closing the door by uh, taking suppressive. God is sending fever for your protection. God is sending cold and cough for your protection. When I say God, the life energy that is protecting our body and guiding us in the mind. I repeat, it, the life force is protecting our body and it is guiding the mind to behave. So we don't uh, uh, take up anything which is mindless. So isn't it a very simple understanding? It is your mind. This is, there is no expert here. You are the expert. Why, why, why shouldn't you adhere to the expert guidance within you, guiding you? Yes, one thing is there. I have, uh, like Sanjay said in the beginning, I am a radical character. The whole world is talking about medicine and I am talking about no medicine. Yeah, uh, I thank God that God made me experience variety of situation and I'm too eager to help all my friends to understand so that none of my friends fall. I, a day before yesterday, one of my friend's wife died due to cancer. Uh, he never heard me. He never, I, I send these messages to many people. I can offer this program free. I can offer this program at very high cost. I can offer this program. I was telling my wife that I'll be charging 50,000 rupees for this program. They were requesting me not to do it. But friends, people don't understand. Some people, in order to get them to hear, you have to tell that this is a one and a half lakh program. Because for Dr. Fazal, he, it took him to reject MBBS, MD, PhD, and all the other alternate medicine to arrive at this. So imagine how many lakhs he has spent in his learning 16 years of his medical practice and all the learning. Today, you know how much it costs to become a doctor. Easily a, a, a half a crore. Now, when doctors listen to this story, I have addressed doctors. It's not that I have not addressed. I have addressed doctors in Gujarat, in Sitpur, and they gave me more in, sinister information about their false practices. So friends, all we need is a doctor to, to become divine and humble and uh, say, yes, uh, uh, let us turn to divine. We have failed miserably. Pandemic has exposed them. A, 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 we all know that our entire body is having trillions of virus friends. Do you know our body is having trillions of viruses and every virus is there for our evolution. It comes to enrich our body. How can you be made to get frightened? If, if, if any, you name any virus, it will come, uh, we will deal with it. We'll deal with it. it. Our body will develop heat energy and throw it out. And all our family members, because we have uh, already killed the virus, they will get the side benefit. Uh, you know how nowadays uh, anybody asymptomatic person who has recovered from uh, uh, so-called uh, corona, they want their plasma. So like that in a family, if you have recovered from uh, Corona, you are a welcome guest. All others can get immune because of your success with Corona. Uh, corona is a flu virus. And, 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 and not just Corona, you name every other viral disease, you can name it. There is no cure ever in medical science friends. So what is this we are talking about? For bacteria, we have antibody. That also functions as, as a kind of a vaccination concept. So, friends, when you have yourself observed that the whole world, it's so crazy. The whole world is uh, in pandemic. 
and this Charlie here and all of us here are singing a different tune. Heart to heart, most of you are agreeing. So friends, let, uh, let my lovely BCAS influential charter accountant not just guide uh, their client on bookkeeping, uh, on, on auditing their accounts. My uh, uh, prayer is let the charter accountant play another role. Let them become divine guide for human body and not just human property. Because body and the soul is the biggest property we should adhere to. We know the Bhagavad Gita that kya le kya hai the jo tumne kho diya. So don't, don't let, uh, as chartered accountant, don't create any worry to your clients. Agar loss ho hai company mein to bolo kuch bhi nahi loss ho hai. Send him in Sanjay Mansukhani's uh, MKS program. <laughs> he will revive. E everything is having a turnaround. And uh, the, the, the third dimension, which we are talking about, the eight weeks course, that gives you a foolproof wisdom. At the end of it, when you do this course, I don't want to sound like a marketing guy. It is a promise I appeal to you. Uh, you are very sure that you will guide others. Uh, we will not leave this. You catch this subject. I am saying it is true and it is a promise. So catch me by the clutches and say, we, we, we want this in our life. All right. So with this now, shall I take questions? Yeah, yeah I think we can go into questions. Um... Okay, so there's one question that has come in. Uh, uh, I think the person had raised a blood pressure related query. Yeah. Uh, so do you want to just yeah. uh, touch up on that? Sure, sure. Friends, uh, as I said, no, the, before somebody diagnose you as BP, if, if that, can that person come on a direct talk? I can try that. Just let me see. Yeah. Hi, Krishan. Uh, do you want to speak up? Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, yeah. So, so Krishnan, yeah. Your your question is on BP. Are you are you suffering from BP? Yes. Uh, how were you diagnosed that you have BP? So this uh, happened, uh, you know, when I was in Dubai. So okay. uh, you know, uh, before they started on the medication, they uh, uh, put me on what they called as a twenty four hours, um, you know, um, sort of uh, monitor. So they had given me a, a blood pressure monitor, which I had to, uh, you know, so it monitored my pressure right from, you know. So surely, uh, sorry, I'll interrupt you, Krishnan. What led you to go to the hospital? Because I was getting frequent headaches. Okay, lovely. So for, for, for headaches, they checked you? Checked you. Yes. So okay. uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, and, they, and they said mean, that this could be the cause. Okay, my, I, I'll, I'll talk with you again. Tell me, when you were getting headache, what were you doing? I was, uh, you know, taking some, uh, you know, paracetamol and... There you, know, you are. Yeah. There you are. So all, very simple, all your problems started because you were not allowing the pain to guide you and rest and heal you. We took a shortcut of uh, benumbing our ner nerves, thinning our blood and uh, giving ourselves relief. So when I began my session, do you want temporary relief or permanent recovery? So friends, if, if you are getting headache, you will stop. Why am I getting headache? You will relax, take leave for a day or two days. You, the headache will turn into fever because headache is a sign that somewhere in the body, something is malfunctioning. Some worry or stress is causing you migraine. It is a constriction of a blood vessel because of the emotion that you are struggling with. So if you were mindful, then you may not have gone to the checkup itself. You would have recovered, number one. Now, second part is, 
having gone, now they have prescribed you BP tablets, is it? Yeah. So how many days it is over? Now it's a long time. It's almost uh, 15 okay. years now. Okay. So, uh, of course, uh, one way is I would recommend you to contact my doctor and he will, because he's a medical doctor, he'll deal with you in a medical fashion. But from what he has taught me, I will openly share that BP is nothing but an increase in your blood pressure to heal the organ which is harmed, which is affected. So the headache that you get is nothing but a, a, a point that you have to relax, allow the BP to give nutrition to the ailing organ. So this is one way. Okay. And to support you, you can always get uh, a divine understanding and know from the promise that this will work. And you will find in, 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 in that it will become okay. Because the organ must get... See, if you now if I tell you stop taking BP tablets, what will happen? Next checkup, the BP will be shoot up, shooting up. Because yes. That which, that uh, which, okay. Uh, so let me complete with Krishnan. So Krishnan, uh, the the BP has increased to cure the organ. The heart is pumping blood to reach the ailing part. So when once your ailing part recovers, uh, uh, your blood pressure will become normal. Sure. But this is a very different subject. You definitely need a direct support from the medical doctor who watched, who has a. I'm an experiencer, sure. but he is the specialist. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, my number is there. Uh, and and uh, it, it, it is a matter of time you will recover from your uh, dependency on BP tablets. Where are you now? In Dubai? Bangalore. Oh, you're back to Bangalore. Yeah, I'm, no, no, I, no, I was living abroad, but now I've come back to India. Now I'm in India. Now, uh, everything well with you in Bangalore? Yes, yes, all, all, all good. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, remember one thing, as, as of now, you begin feeling your breath, invoking divine uh, uh, reminder that in every breath divine is healing you that that at least you begin immediately sure okay let the cure process start now okay, okay. any you. other questions so uh, i think there's another question that has come in uh, if you're developing vertigo how to go about v vertigo is a typical dizziness isn't it right yeah, so th that I've already explained. Learn to relax and question your mind, the reason for it. All the reasons are obviously emotions. Okay, so I have yet not touched the part of, see, friends, it is easy to say don't have emotions. Uh, don't get emotional, but is it possible? We say maintain peace at any cost. Is it possible? It may not be possible. Because why? Because we have to know what is triggering the loss of peace. So that is the subject that will unfold in the third dimension. And we don't have that much time. And that is, that is what I'm explaining in uh, the six matrix. And as I told you, eight session. That what is causing the emotion. I, I want peace. What is disturbing my peace? What is the cause of my loss of peace? So that learning is very, very, very interesting. It is very, very enlightening. At the end of that learning, you know, you'll be surprised. You'll feel like how uh, earlier my friend said, you'll feel like, why can't I teach Sadhguru about this? You, you, you will feel yourself spiritually very high. Such a wonderful, enlightening learning it is. Because a promise is a promise. God never fails in his promise. If he promises, 
he gives you full proof wisdom start the journey i will uh, the, the god will not leave you half way when you trust the divine he will explain why you are getting it how you are seeing it how you are feeling it uh, uh, how you are choosing your priorities how you are expressing yourself how you are integrating how you are expanding everything full proof so we god divine guides you what is deviating you from your divinity it's very interesting learning and that connects you with uh, I, i would say a, a a different level altogether you uh, you continue to live in the world but you are now beyond the world i i a simple example is friends world is in a boundary isn't it shamlata world is in a boundary is wisdom in the world the only knowledge is in the world wisdom is beyond the boundary so you have to step out of the world then the wisdom guides you so what is making you not step out of the world are the matrix the process which i have uh, by the grace of god designed it after 35 years of multiple leadership training program of different different kind uh, uh, some uh, discovery by dianetics technology some discovery uh, uh, in in even vipassana some discovery in in, in landmark every different different person has got one usp so uh, uh, and for that matter eric burn uh, dr jos jo, jo and harris psychology tool everything has been merged in such a way that all the discoveries are overlapping so finally we get see anybody can give us leadership training but i want one proof that at the end of my leadership training what is my take home am i recovering A- am i becoming okay so uh, my condition to my uh, co- today uh, i mean recent currently a batch is going i said the first proof is first re- 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 uh, first recover from your illness reverse your disease become a proof of that first uh, our friend whether it is govin or krishnan they first recover then they start expressing be the proof without being the proof we can't be lecturing this today i have uh, successfully by god's grace shared i can only promise you yes it is possible friends uh, like i give example of cycling and swimming those who don't know that if they are horizontal they will not drown they will not enter the pool but the day you tell them just become horizontal you will not drown then the confidence happens similarly cycling people think that in two wheels we can't balance many people don't know but if you just help them from the back initially and they they get surprised it's possible so this is the role i wish to play in all my friends life whatever god has gifted me before i before he calls me off i i i would seek to touch as many people uh, like how sanjay many times inspires me he talks in in, in a big scale yeah and uh, thanks to his manifestation i can easily see uh, ever since he started his mks uh, many people have started calling me so i leave it to the divine where he takes me and i leave it to all of you to grab this uh, understanding and uh, stay with it because there is nothing in this life to achieve there is nothing to own only thing that you can own is purity of your soul so that you can outgrow from your body with peace you can't be spoiling your body and dying with organ failure you can't be dying with heart attack heart failure is okay your heart stops but i don't expect people to get paralytic stroke why the bhagavad gita summary is evergreen kyun vir chinta karte ho kisse darte ho kaun tumhe maar sakta hai atma na kabhi paida hoti hai na marti hai tumhara kya gaya jo tumne kho diya tumne kya kho diya everybody knows this lovely summary this helped me in 88 so our scriptures are wonderful guide but we are not pondering over them 
we are doing it in a ritual way and one of the uh, book, uh, song of kabir doha is also talking about divine we we are not supposed to think that there is anything else divine other than the breath in us that uh, uh, that song is of uh, kabir doha goes like this mu ko kaha dhundere bande main to tere paas mein na mandir mein na masjid mein na kashi na kaaba mein na mein tap mein na mein jap mein na mein ekant nivas mein na mein yog mein you know he goes on and plethora of all the rituals that we do and says i am nowhere in this my friend khoji hoye turat mil jao ek pal ki talash mein kahed kabir suno bhai sadhu main hu saaso ki saas mein i am in the inspiration of your breath friends we have been so intellectual that this education has not been given to us in school we have never been taught in school that you have to learn to feel we have been told to read so our mind never understood the reading the heart so friends we have to start a new education where we teach our children are you feeling hungry don't feed them till they hung, till they tell they are hungry teach them alphabets with feel because in feel there is wisdom in seeing there is no wisdom seeing is misleading I, as i told you that the medical science is based on organism and the naming of organism they will say this is chicken gunia this is h1n1 this is tb this is falana dikna but by naming it they don't cure it uh, they see through the hole but they don't see the hole you understood the word seeing through the hole they don't see the whole universe so we are human being is nothing but an integrated part of the whole universe the universe is in your body and your uh, you know many many um, quantum physics people say that uh, uh, human body is condensed co uh, uh, consciousness of the entire universe so how we behave outside with our other fellow beings is what we are creating in ourselves if we have slightest of hatred for another living being any human we are creating cancer in our body we are creating toxicity in our body from now on in your heart pray that the world has taken us for a ride social distancing and all that uh, if i comment god knows authority will question so one thing is pray that this uh, falsehood the world has spread in and created fear may soon go first time in our life in this 10 months fear has become a virtue and faith has become a abuse if you say nothing will happen people say put sala isko pakdo nahi nahi daro 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 to or we have learned ke daro to marega aur aap jo socho jab bhi humko dar lagta hai to hamari saans phul jati hai aapne dekha hai hamari saans phul jayegi daroge to to thrombosis hoke to wahi ka wahi hum mar jayenge maine to bahut baar marte marte bacha kutte ka bahut dar tha mujhe अचानक चार कुत्ते भसने लग गए मैं भागा एंड आई ऑलमोस्ट फेंटेड आई कुड हैव डाइड सो डर कितनी बड़ी बीमारी है आज भी कुछ भी हो सिर्फ एक ऑर्गेनिज्म को नाम लेके वायरस को बोल के पूरी दुनिया डरी हुई है भैया भगवान ने शरीर बनाया है वो प्रोटेक्टर है उसने लाइफ क्रिएट किया है हमको उसी के पास जाना है उतना नहीं बोल सकते हैं क्या हम हम हमको क्रिएट भगवान ने करा है ही इज रबिल आलमीन रबिल आलमीन ही इज द लॉर्ड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कैन दे बी एनी ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट कैन अफेक्ट यू विदाउट हिज परमिशन हाउ फुलिश इट इज टू इग्नोर द गॉड प्रोटेक्शन इन यू एंड फियर एंड इनसिग्निफिकेंट आज जो नहीं दिख रहा है उससे डर रहे हो फिर तो कितनी चीजों से डरोगे यू डोंट नो एक बार फेयर की एनर्जी चालू हो जाएगी ना डर 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 के सारे ऑर्गन खराब हो जाएंगे पूरी दौलत घर में होगी एंड यू विल स्टिल बी गेटिंग पैरेटिक स्ट्रोक पूरा दौलत के पैसे लेके बंकर बनाओगे और बंकर में ही जाके मरोगे कितने यूरोपियन कंट्रीज दे आर सो वेल्दी बट दे ऑल हैव बंकर्स ऑफ देर ओन दोन अब्रोड दे नो इट डू वी वॉन्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ लाइफ सो 
trust the universe trust uh, trust your conscience and be with the universe just merge with the people with love love and integration never unite unite is very bad integration is very good word unity is always against something when we unite and form a group that's where all illness happens never form group remain remain integrated individual so friends i want to tell you one thing that don't get isolated as a rebel neither get into the clutches of a group in the name of religious race nation and anything the whole universe is us our beautiful upanishad 672 verse says vasudeva kutumbakam if you accept this term your body is perfectly whole every other person is your family and luckily in our tamil nadu 2000 years poet saying yadum ure yavarum keli every in every part of the world my relative exists so wonderful so same thing all our cells are integrated in our body they function in an integrated way in your mind if you have hatred the cells don't understand they get toxic that's where the poison starts in your body that's where our organ starts failing so become ekdam free start sharing your abundance and more and more rain will come if you share your water more rain will come but if you fill your pond then weeds and uh, mosquitoes will breed let's not believe in shallow pond let's believe that every time i need rain will come we are creatures like any other animal all we need to do is remain connected with the divine breath in us because that divine breath is governing the whole universe so with this uh, i think i have not left anything once you touch divine nobody has anything thank you rajesh yeah you can unmute now sanjay sanjay rajesh all are welcome to give their uh, uh, their uh, their expression now uh, uh, junjunwala also can unmute hmm yeah yeah uh, safri it has been beautiful listening to you and since you were quoting from the hindu shastras though you are uh, a non hindu right uh, i would like to quote further from the hindu shastras there is a talk about sapta kosha theory which talks about the different layers of a human body a human being and the first layer is called anna maya kosha the food we eat and the water we drink makes our body but this is illusory this is controlled by a second layer it is called prana maya kosha you are talking about the life force the breath the sanse so it is the prana which controls the body absolutely okay and the third layer is called man maya kosha it is the mind which controls the breath perfect and the fourth layer is called the vigyan maya kosha that is the intellect controls the mind mind controls the breath breath controls the body the fifth layer is called anand maya kosha that is the heart the the subtler feelings mind is the coarse emotions anger hatred jealousy worry anxiety those are in the mind the third layer but the higher layer fifth layer is the heart layer is the ananda layer where you have feelings like love faith trust the higher ones so they control the intellect okay and then there is a sixth layer which is divine now it is called chitta kosha that is consciousness layer this consciousness in us controls the heart and all the further layers down and there is a seventh layer which is called the sat kosha which is the absolute truth so the absolute truth the ultimate power which runs the whole universe absolute knowledge absolute wisdom absolute love absolute energy is existing in a human being it can be accessed through becoming conscious of it 
Once you become conscious of it, then that power starts healing the whole body. That power starts flowing into the human body, the five lower le uh, levels, and becomes the love energy there. Mm -hmm. That power flows into the human body, mm -hmm. the finite body, mm -hmm. and becomes the prosperity energy in the world outside. So any human being in this uh, creation on this planet Earth requires three basic things. Number one, he requires love. Number two, he requires health. Number three, he requires wealth. Love is required for the mind. Health is required for the body. And wealth is required for the world. And all these three are energies. And they come from the innermost layer, that is the Atma and the Paramatma, or the consciousness and the absolute truth in us. It is the spiritual energy. It is the divine energy. So when I get connected to the divine power in me, automatically all energies flow in me and everything is taken care of. Love, health, and wealth. There you are. But if I leave the divine behind, and if I run out into the world to buy a Mercedes car, to do my education in Harvard University, to marry the most beautiful girl outside, I move furthest, farthest away from the source of my energy, spiritual energy. And then what happens? Then I get trapped in the emotions of the mind. Anger, jealousy, fear, yeah. distrust. And then slowly I get completely destroyed and thrown out of the system by the spiritual energy. Yeah. Because he finds this man has become garbage, now has to be dumped. So he is happily dumped out. Hmm. As simple as that. True. And if you, go, if you go biologically, if you go by modern science, hmm. what they say about human body, human anatomy, there's another very interesting fact out there. Mm. When you think a good thought, mm. you will find there is an organ called the solar plexus, which is below the heart, uh, behind the navel, and in front of the backbone. Mm. That is the distribution point of energy in all the vital organs below the throat. It gives energy to the heart, to the lungs, to the uh, stomach, to the intestines, to the liver, to the kidney, to the spleen. So all vital organs have got one distribution point of energy. Mm. Now what happens is when you are thinking a constructive thought, good thought, positive thought, mm. this distribution point expands and more energy starts flowing into all the vital organs. Mm. So in case there is any disease out there, it starts repairing it because more energy flows now. Yeah. Whereas if you th think a negative thought, a destructive thought, a thought which will cause harm to others, this solar plexus constricts in size. It narrows down. Yeah. And when, when it narrows down, the energy flow to all the vital organs of the body sharply diminishes. Yeah. Now the body is intentionally killing itself. Yeah. Just because the mind is creating negative thoughts, dest destructive thoughts, not very conducive thoughts for others, the body starts on a self-destruction mode. The solar plexus shrinks, the energy to all the vital organs drops, and then disease starts coming in. Yeah. And over a period of time, there is a, a failure in the human body. And this is the divine's way of kicking that person out of his universe. So if you are a good person, you will last long on this planet. If you are an evil person, you will be kicked out very fast. That is the divine way of ensuring his universe is running on auto mode. He's not coming down on the earth again and again. The universal power is taking care of all individuals on this planet and ensuring if we have the right thoughts in place, we have the right body in place. If we have the wrong thoughts in place, we have a weak body which fails and disappears from this planet. There, there, there is a verse in Quran which says, I take away whom I will early and I leave behind those uh, uh, for long life with old age and infirmity, such that they will not even know what they were. They will lose their sense as a sample to you. Know, to you. So they, he leaves some people to rot and rust. So we don't want that kind of old age where we are stuck with paralytic stroke and we continue to live. Uh, th there are many people who are very arrogant and they became a model of long life. So uh, long life is not what we are taking about once you are victorious in understanding your soul, I, uh, my prayer to all of us is, O Almighty, make me victorious in this life 
don't take my life till i am victorious with my life in your eyes and i am satisfied with you and you are satisfied with me so this the day we have served our purpose let him take us to the first level of the next level of uh, existence we say seven seven skies so let us get out of this gravity of this life by qualifying for it so the, all that you can uh, listen in uh, another session with dr fazal he explains seven heavens which now you since you are exposed to him you will get chance so all others can also yes rajesh yeah you are, you are not muted i think you 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 have to unmute uh, really blessed with lot of understanding today about life and i think it's going to make a very big difference now onwards thank you very much yeah thank you all all glory to god thank you sham do you want to share something sham yeah saifi as usual you know i'd i'd heard the gist about what you used to you know probably given uh, various chapters and other places through people of course now i heard you so it's pretty insightful of course we got a trailer probably i would say the movie is still remaining isn't it <laughs> yeah so so we got a feeler and i guess some of uh, people were still concerned about uh, serious illnesses like hypertension diabetes and arthritis etc etc you know so how are those they going to be solved so obviously i think they need more information and insight about uh, how to deal with that uh, of course the uh, macro aspect is trusting on divine and allowing your body to heal it but nevertheless if there is some emergency as sanjay said you know possibly the negative aspect is working more in your body and you need to administer something quickly so i think one must not be averse to taking certain emergency uh, and uh, certain actions at that moment you know because uh, if it's acute possibly you shouldn't be averse agreed in a long term uh, zero medicine concept does work and i'm completely vouching that but nevertheless you know there's one angle somebody has been taking medicine for a period of time for maybe 20 years 30 years 40 years and suddenly if uh, if you ask him to go in the route of not taking anything uh, possibly is uh, not a great idea at that moment but yes as you rightly said that uh, he needs to get a medical attention that time and and a good medical uh, practitioner may guide him how to go away from medicine is uh, what i would like to just add on to if i may you know something like that because i think the last uh, few sentences of questions i would say had uh, you know emerged so what i was looking at so just to add on to that broadly yes it all it was all answered but nevertheless you know certain things which also needs to be considered yeah. uh, shyam neta can i uh, uh, answer this question no please please okay you will be surprised uh, i have this bad habit of cycling at this age so That's a good I, I, I hope my family doesn't uh, see this video <laughs> what happened is on three different occasion i had an accident I, uh, initially i was uh, holding my mobile in one hand right. okay and uh, passing through a scenic route it was uh, around 70 80 kilometers right and got carried away it and just then uh, we were reaching lnt port now it was a highway just before that i didn't notice there was a speed breaker in a big highway because port was there they had a speed breaker and with my one hand i felt and i fractured my finger now all the friends gathered my my learning guided me that i am in a shock so i stopped them from touching me i just looked at them i i said don't touch me let me bear with this for 5 10 minutes so they all gheraud me what happened what happened i said nothing lovely blue sky mm -hmm. so they also laughed and i continued to lay still my friends will be surprised of a consciousness when you get into a stupid shock of your own mistake it rushes with all force to heal you that moment what could if they would have taken me 
a, 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 a so-called ambulance or something, they would have given me a painkiller and 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 a life-saving thing. My consciousness would have got lost because I continued to with my consciousness for 10, 15 minutes. I restored my body there and then, and the only thing that I saw is this finger that was broken. But my friends asked, "Sefi, can we arrange a vehicle for you?" I said, "No, I don't see any anything wrong. I can ride." Then I rode up to 25 kilometers with uh, just hand resting on the. Then only when I came uh, to uh, a clear area, then I took uh, an auto and reached home. This was one, and similar thing happened twice, which if I tell, they will not let me do cycling. So friends. Uh, many of our activities, which are mindless, so I don't blame uh, anybody but me that I was not mindful while riding. So, but even if you are mindless, God protection is there in a massive way. So uh, and also 15 years, you know, friends, uh, at least three to four cases I have gone in a crowd where I have seen in the road accident. Immediately, they'll be trying to call constable. Somebody has fallen. He may have fainted. I I intervened there. I said, "Wait, wait, wait, wait! All of you, move away." This fellow, this fellow who's fainted, no, he'll wake up in just fraction of seconds. Then I'll tell him, "Hey, do you have your mobile phone? Shall I call somebody, or do you want ambulance?" He said, "No, no, call somebody. Nobody, nobody." By that time, police will also come. I will tell constable, boss, if you call a uh, Ambulance, you will have to start giving hajri in the hospital to give witness of this accident. Let his family come. Within no time, he will sit. He'll become comfortable because he has his consciousness, which is helping his body to recover, has not been disrupted. He woke up. A shock is fainting, but waking up from the shock is a repair which God's gift. Every time we rest in the night. We recover freshly in the morning, so even fainting is a, I would say, God's rahmat. We say uh, uh, Allah is Rahman and Rahim. So Bismillah Rahman Rahim means He is anything that happens. He is protecting the universe. A mother has a baby in the womb. Immediately there is a sack full of water around. Even the baby comes out, there is a protection of the baby with a very very. So you see, every creature has got a protection natural. We think that we'll have to go to a doctor. My friends, doctors can learn this and mend their ways. Don't disturb somebody's consciousness. Don't give them pain, uh, uh, life-saving uh, uh, things, and disturb by giving him uh, by dis by taking a liquor. What do you do? You are diluting your consciousness, my friends. Whoever is hearing today, if you are willing to take this up, no medicine life. I'm sorry. I'm uh, requesting you no more liquor, because liquor is one way of diluting your consciousness, and then you are easy prey to deviation of grossness in life. The sharpness of your consciousness is only in purity. The voice is wanting to speak to you, and you are diluting with liquor. How foolish! Liquor, medicine, tobacco, and ritual prayer—all are same. You know, ritual prayers are also same. Our visit to temple and all that is same. They give you solace, but they don't give you solution. We feel uh, uh, very peaceful. I went to this uh, uh, this this uh, uh, mountain and I did my meditation. It gave you temporary peace. It didn't give you solution. So. Uh, uh, Jiddu Krishnamurti tells that cigarette, the tobacco, and rituals of religion all are giving solace. If you focus on your mind, then that is true prayer. You for 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 prayer we don't. My my doctor Fazal says whenever he heals person, he says from now on no temple, mosque, or church. Remember. I don't know if there are Tamil people here. God is within you, Kadavul. So even if you are in toilet, pray to God. God is listening to you. And Kabir Doha clearly says that Khoji hoye, turant mil jau, mehu saso ki saas me. 
सो कहा भाग रहे हो कहा ढूंढ रहे हो भगवान को वो माइंड को विल पावर को डायल्यूट कर रहा है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी ट्रू माइंडफुल्ली हीलिंग योर सेल्फ डोंट डायल्यूट योर माइंड विथ एनी प्रैक्टिस विच इज मीनिंगलेस इट कैन बी मीनिंगलेस मीटिंग मीनिंगलेस रिचुअल्स आस्क योर पेरेंट्स वॉट एम आई गोइंग टू डू बाई विजिटिंग दिस ग्रेव और देर आर पीपल हु यू नो दे विल नॉट बी एबल टू एंसर because it is just like medical science traditions are also lie i normally use this word do you want uh, to uh, to to believe in uh, being traditional or being in rational being rational rationality is directly connected with your consciousness tradition is buddhu giri apni akal ko pocket mein dal di aur we start doing uh, 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 we are started searching in divine in others they when divine is in you be rational about it recognize it so uh, that directly connects with your will power because i trusted god in accident god came to my rescue thanks to that will power because of this 15 years experience now i don't go to a mosque or oh, I, I, i i i when uh, sanjay said i am no hindu no it's not like that i am no religion i am only universal god i follow that which is in you and me in everyone which is protecting the whole universe so my family we don't have anything to do with any religion right so i i think uh, sefi we're just running out of time yeah, uh, yeah, we would yeah. have loved to take a lot of questions more i think a lot of people have written on the group and uh, you know requested us for another session but uh, i think in the interest of time we shall take it in another session uh, it, it was a pleasure hearing you sanjay and uh, sham on this entire session i think it was a fabulous uh, session put together uh, i would request uh, kk junjunwala to just you know come in with the closing remarks okay. before we yeah right. namaskar namaskar junjunwala namaskar sir i am so sorry uh, this is my loss i could join this around 7:30 i'm speechless i'm just speechless i can say i don't have words to comment i don't have anything to say after listening you and sanjay ji my god you would love to hear you again you would love to hear yeah, you sure. again again sir. i don't want to add anything sir we were so blessed so blessed thanks to almighty god we could hear both of you thank you so much yeah yeah all glory be to god uh, hope uh, gracie uh, gracie's uh, prayer also were answered because she was very very concerned about today's session i think this the comments are saying it for itself so fabulous uh, uh, i request i request mahendra to just you know come in with the vote of thanks mahendra bhai uh, rajesh wants to say anything nahi huh? hello No, that is everybody. You 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 tell me. I am I am very happy. I am overwhelmed. As I said, I am just coming out of my own difficulties, and I have learnt a lot. I shared with you individually before we started. So it's a new life. Maybe I am seeing it for myself. I am still not by the doctor. Still permitted to move around, but still, I would say that with this. confidence that you have developed in me today mm-hmm. i think i should be able to look into my life more confidently and with great pleasure so nice of you i yeah, thank you indeed thankful to you and sanjay both of you thank you yeah, yeah. Uh, sanjay sanjay and we are good partners in one way we follow our inspiration so i thank almighty for inspiring me to live up to everyone's expectations if not by his mercy and grace we would not have been uh, ha- having this wonderful session i am delighted to have you all and uh, of course my numbers were there in the chat uh, feel free to connect and uh, we'll all together work on this and uh, influence the authorities to take this up in their own organization in their own corporate employees let there be health card issued to all of us self monitoring health card so people start following and they become their own proof and that becomes a documentation for us 
my request yeah. to my request to our committee is that let us have a long session on this particular training it is going to help us a lot we can probably think about going for a workshop or whatever one or two days uh, retreat that we may be wanting to rather learn so my request to mr junjun wala also certainly sir certainly therapy. it is it is worth it and i must yes. congratulate uh, all of you for having organized today's talk thank you very much ryan certainly. and gracie as well as mahendra bhai you really deserve compliments for this thank yes. you Thank you so thank much. You, Rajesh, thank you, Rajesh. Thank Lovely you. Lovely opportunity. Uh, I hope Amit Ayuja who invited me. Uh, yeah, Amit has done a great job. Amit yeah. has done wow. a real good job. Thanks, Amit. Thanks, Amit. Well, thank you, Amit. Thanks, Amit. And the uh, and the Hello. chairman, Mr. Govind Goel, also. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, so, all so with this, I think I, I just request Mahendra Bhai to you know uh, oh. give us the vote of thanks. Mahendra Bhai, Ms. Uh, the speech was very wonderful and it's quite uh, educational. Uh, uh, the face is not coming. Mahendra Bhai, you are really not really happy. If you want to put your camera down a bit, I think. we can see the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's better. So, on behalf of uh, BCS, uh, we are really thankful to and obliged of you for giving us such a wonderful. a uh, knowledge session on the uh, zero medicines in fact you know i myself do not take medicines unless it is absolutely necessary when the disease goes out of control otherwise i always believe in self healing with a read couple of books one is a self healing by louis j yeah yeah then another is a anatomy of illness by dr norman cajins and third was by one mr sayal uh, low medicine and healing so i have a strong belief that we ourselves can heal our heal ourselves without any medicines mm. and i follow continuously uh, since whenever i feel sick you know i either go for fast or something and i get cured without medicines so this is my experience of more than 30 35 years when i hardly took the medicines so this is a really wonderful session and i request the organizer to organize one full day sessions on only on self healing with a few speakers uh, who are knowledgeable about this i know one of few of them also who can uh, deliver such talks and can help us to heal without medicines thank you so much thank you mahendra ji thank you so much thank you mahendra thank you sir uh, thank you i yeah. just request gracie to you know probably uh, enlighten us on the next session i think which is going to be in Gracie, yeah, am I muted? No, I we can hear you. Now you you now you've that. muted yourself. Yeah, I didn't yeah. mute myself. Now now it's fine. Go ahead. Uh, next session will be second Tuesday of October. That is thirteen. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so with this, I think Since we come we to an uh, yeah. Second. Sorry, Gracie, we did not hear you. Second Tuesday, see, saying second, second Tuesday. Okay, okay. Second Fine. Tuesday will be. Ah, uh, so we postponed to third Tuesday. So now we'll skip the fourth Tuesday, fourth uh, Tuesday of September. So our next meeting will be second Tuesday of October. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So with this, I think uh, we come to an end of. yet another wonderful session i think this being uh, one of the highlights of the season uh, thank you safi for being there with us today and thank you sanjay thank you sham i think uh, safi you've really enlightened everyone and uh, you know encouraged everyone to to take the path of zero medicine i think it's a fabulous session and we hope to have you on a future session so thank you very much and have a nice day guys thank you thank you Sincere thanks, Sapi sir. Thank you, my pleasure, Govind ji. Thank you, Sapi. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all of you. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjay, Ryan, uh, Sham Lata, uh, for being the panel today, Gracie, and encouraging me uh, because without the face, I don't like to talk.
so that gives me the and yeah the the energy to talk so uh, it's good to have a panel with us all the time thank you everybody bye thank you so much bye